and we'd better batten down every hatch and secure everything on board. Why, are you expecting a big wind? Worse than that, Captain. Look who's on the gangplank. The biggest, slickest gambler on the Mississippi. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but I don't remember seeing your name on my passenger list. Gaylord Benny is my name, and gambling is my game. <laughs> Gaylord, your reputation has preceded you, and I must tell you we allow only honest card playing on this boat. If I understand your inference, sir, I am highly insulted. But I swear, on my standing as a southern gentleman, that I have never even once entertained the thought of cheating at cards. If you're so honest, why were those cards up your sleeve? I've got a crooked tailor. <laughs> well, I warn you, we don't tolerate any cheating aboard the Memphis Bell. Well, that kind of cuts down my chances. But since there's a sheriff down by the gangplank and an unfriendly bloodhound, I'll accept your turn. <laughs> There will be $60 in advance. In advance? What happened to paddle now and pay later? <laughs> $60 now or you get off the boat. Well, if that's the way you want it, I'll get off. That changed your mind, eh? Yes, sir. And that was only the sheriff. <laughs> There's your money. <laughs> Welcome aboard, sir. Well, thank you, sir. I'm Colonel Culpepper J. Wilson. Of the Kentucky Wilson? No, 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 no. The Mississippi Wilson. Oil, cotton, gold mine. Oil, cotton, and mines, eh? That's right, sir. Do you have any interest in cattle? Oh, yes. I had one for lunch. <laughs> Are you traveling alone, Colonel? No, Captain. Uh, my daughter's with me. Oh, Cindy Lou! Cindy Lou, honey, you better come aboard now. We'll be leaving soon. <laughs> you see, Captain, Cindy's my only daughter. Very refined. You see, uh, this trip is sort of a little present for her. She just graduated after eight years in finishing school. Come along, Cindy. <laughs> daughter, come over here. I want you. Why, daughter? Daughter, why are you crying? Oh, I meant to tell you, she's modest, too. Am I that right? <laughs> Cindy Lou, I want you to say hello to the captain here. Oh, how'd you do, Captain, sir? Well, Miss Wilson, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, your father tells me you spent eight years at finishing school. Uh-huh, that's right. I studied four years of social conversation, two years of etiquette, and two years of blushing. <laughs> Right, uh, Captain, she can blush in four different colors. Watch this. Shucks! Ooh. There you are, Captain. Pale pink. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, Stuart, will you show these good folks to stateroom B? And I do hope you have a pleasant trip. Oh, why, thank you, Captain, sir. You are as gracious as you are gallant. <laughs> Why, 
my daughter, that was just a boat whistle. Oh, thank heavens. I was about to swear off barbecued ham hock. <laughs> Colonel Culpepper J. Wilson, eh? By the time I get through with that cotton picker, he'll think a bold weevil ran through his wallet. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss Gaylord, it was awful nice of you to ask my daughter and me to the lounge for a drink. Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Gaylord. Why, you're sweeter than the tip of a hummingbird's beak. <laughs> Well, I think I'll be running along now, and don't forget our card game. Well, it was very nice of you to suggest it, sir. Yes, sir. I'll see you in a half hour, right here. <laughs> Goodbye. Is he gone, Daddy? Yeah. Well, don't just stand there. Get off the Mark Kearns. We got us a sucker. <laughs> and get us the pliers. As soon as we take him for all his money, we'll get the gold out of his teeth. Yeah, by the time we get through with him, he'll have to borrow one of your petticoats to get off this here boat. <laughs> Oh, that's a little too obvious, honey. A little too obvious there. Hey, you think we ought to use my dice? Don't forget the dice. <laughs> and I'm afraid this fella Gaylord is a little bit too sharp for my car, so maybe we better rehearse our merit trick, huh? Yeah. Now, I'll be sitting right here like this, holding my cards, and you'll be standing right back at Gaylord there, holding your mirror. Right. And when I want you to see his cards, I'll scratch my back like this. <laughs> But, but don't get it too high. The last sucker caught me looking up. Yeah. Now, just in case, let's rehearse our other signals so we be sure we haven't forgotten. Huh? Right. Ace. Ace. <laughs> Queen. <laughs> Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Go. So fast. <laughs> time? Oh, I, I, I better get ready here. All right. Come on. <laughs> I'll bet uh, two hundred dollars. I'll call you two hundred, and I'll raise you two hundred. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'll have to reflect on that. <laughs> I made up my mind. I'll call your two hundred dollars and I'll raise you two hundred dollars. <laughs> I'll just call. What do you got? Oh, go and beat me again. I can't understand. That's ten hands in a row. There must be something wrong. I'll remind you, sir, we're playing with your deck. That's why I can't understand. <laughs> You're in, sir. Gotta, uh, uh, will you bring me a glass of water, please? Why, well, certainly, Daddy. <laughs> you better use the verbal signal. Right. <laughs> I'll open for a hundred dollars. I'll stay. How many cards do you want? I'll play these. <laughs> well, I'll play these. All right, sir. I'll bet a hundred dollars. I'll bet you a hundred and raise you up. <laughs> Ooh, you raised me, huh? I wish I knew what you have. <laughs> oh, say, Daddy. I think I forgot to tell you. I got a letter from Aunt Melanie, and she had triplets. <laughs> triplets? Uh-huh. And they weighed ten pounds each. <laughs> What do you have? Three tens. <laughs> you lose again, sir. My spade beats you. It's uncanny. I can't understand. Uncanny. Oh, uh, Miss Cindy. Uh -huh. 
Would you get me a glass of water, please? My family. <laughs> Thank you, miss. It's a pleasure to be served by a lady as lovely as you. Oh, I thank you very much. Give me that again, please. Kiss my hand. With pleasure. so we can get on with the game. Oh, yes, yes, Daddy. Of course, the game. <laughs> All right, sir, what do you do? <laughs> well, I said, what do you do, sir? <laughs> Daughter, what are you doing? I can't help it, Daddy. I've got to go with the man I love. <laughs> With me, Gaylord, we'll sail up and down the river and make a fortune. <laughs> well, that's the way you've been beating me, eh? With mirror. Well, take that. <laughs> I can't stand anyone who cheats more than I. who gets more laughs than I do. Because <laughs> I hate to kill a woman, but Benny is my name, and comedy is my game. <laughs> Cheryl, thank you so much for being on my show. My pleasure. Nothing happened. The sound man went home. Good night, Don. So long, folks. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs>